Anyway, back to killing this blue wraith. I believe I'm getting it for Zerath. In fact, I should be getting it for Zerath. Ezreal's back in the mid lane. Lee Sin is helping Alistair push, which is always nice when he steals minions. And Garen has got free farm, but then contest the turret. Oh well. In fact, along comes there, Lee Sin. There's the mage chains. And the stun just missed, but I kicked there, Lee Sin, in the face. Alistair knocks me back, and we can't really do anything right about here. I believe that there, Ezreal is on the way. In fact, there's their Lee Sin. <laughs> a little bit stupid. There's the Dragon Kick. I could have timed that much better. I could have Tempest crippled him, slow him down, then kick him back towards my teammate. That possibly would have picked up a kill. In fact, now we're going after Ezreal right about now. And there's all three of us going after him. I... What's it called? I Sonic Wave Resonating Strike him. Kill on Zerath, pick up stun, down goes the ultimate. And Zerath picks up a kill right there. There is the kill on Lee Sin as well. Zerath will end up dying to the cause. Hopefully we can pick up a nice kill on Alistair. He doesn't have his ultimate ready, but there's the knock-up. And we're not going to tower dive that. It's an Alistair with a knock-up under a tower. It's... Oh well. Now I'm going to farm as best I can in the mid lane. Uh, in the bottom lane, it's... Still relatively passive. Nocturne just recalled. Nikos doesn't have much health left. And Jogath has got a good three stacks of feast. That's a fair amount of health. 270 in total. 270 is a fair amount of health in, at this stage of the game. Anyway, there goes the shroud of you can't see me. And... Nikos is being... whoops! Since when did I just die? Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh well. Anyway, along comes... I was going to say along comes someone. Nocturne managed to pick up a kill on bottom lane on Cho'Gath. And now Zarath has to escape. I believe he got a stun on Nocturne. Along comes Ezreal as well. Hopefully Nocturne can... But it's not even Nocturne. Hopefully Zerath can escape, but unfortunately he didn't. Zoidberg has to escape and defend his turret against three teams, three guys on purple team. Nikos is hiding in the wing, but with that much health there's not a lot he can do. And I'm on my way, but I have hardly any damage right now. I've only got a Wriggles and Merc Treads. It's not exactly the best item build right about now. Anyway, there's the turret kill on bottom lane. First turret of the... In fact, sorry, second turret of the game. And Lee Sin is currently killing our turret. It's... Ugh, at the time of clicking, it was down to half health. It's now down to about one third health left. And I'm heading up to top lane to defend it. It's level 8 Lee Sin versus level 8. Checking out his items. He hasn't finished off his Merc Dreads yet, so... I've got a slight advantage in him gold-wise, but that's probably because I've been to the base so many times. Oh well. Just farming up the minions and the entire team is... The entire team is hopefully going to get Alistair. Hopefully being the optimum word. There's Lee Sin hanging out in the wing. A nice amount of damage by Zerath forcing the Alistair ultimate. I suppose the timing could have been better. He wasn't under the most amount of threat. And now Alistair's taunting us. Oh well. We're hiding out in the wings, hopefully going to make something happen, never mind. In fact, there's Graves, and Ezreal. I get dragon kicked somewhere, I don't know where. I just did. Jogath picks up the kill on me. All three of our guys should escape right about now. Nikos flashes away from the Jogath rupture, and we're running back to our turret. Where is Zerath going? Don't go back into them. Another rupture by Chogath and a fair amount of poking. I'm not sure where Ezreal is, and Nocturne is nowhere to be seen right about now. I believe Ezreal recalls. Nocturne is just counter pushing mid lane. We know where their entire team, apart from Ezreal, is, so Nocturne should have a pretty good 
push on. In fact, he's not pushing. There's Azrael hiding in the brush. Nikos has to be really careful here. He probably still has a flash ready, but he doesn't need it. And they're hiding about round here somewhere. In fact, there's Ezreal right now. Nocturn got knocked up and knocked back. There's the... There's the Nocturn pounce. I am doing what I can. I kicked Lee Sin in the wrong direction. But hopefully I'm slowing him down enough for my teammates. It's not going to happen, unfortunately. There is Nocturne's pick up on Ezreal. Now Nocturne can turn around and completely destroy the other guys. Hopefully he will. It's unfortunately not going to happen. Zoidberg gets hit with a rupture. There goes that Lee Sin. I was going to say committing suicide, but in fact it doesn't matter that much. Both those Lee Sins are down on energy a lot. Shogath commits suicide and walks into a brush with all three of us. Zerath picking up a kill and Nocturne still getting an assist. Along comes Nikos with full health. Now we can make something happen. Lee Sin is trapped under the turret. Unfortunately, he pokes his face out twice. Right, someone's recalling. Uh, it's... I have to escape. There goes there, Lee Sin. He pounces in. Nikos... Nikos picks up the kill. And now we need to escape from Graves and Alistair. In fact, I need to escape from Alistair. Completely make him go the wrong way. There's there, Ezreal, which is not nice. And I just died. Nikos, come on. Can you get Graves? Yes, you can. Okay. It's not the best game in the world for me right now. 2-6-8. Uh, the entire team is having is 17 to 11 right about now. So I've been responsible for more than half the deaths on the team. It's something I need to work on. But Dr. Zoidberg, 2-0-3. Zerath is 5-4-4, which is respectable. Ackley, 5-1-2. Nikos rather likes Ackley. But no one is that farmed minion-wise. Apart from Nocturne. Late game Nocturne can farm like no one's business. Umbra Blades with a fair amount of damage is is evil. It's, it has a lot of lifesteal with it and it does a lot of damage to a minion wave. We found ourselves an Alistair and a Jogath. I'm not going in there. Dr. Zoidberg is going in there. I get knocked out more. In fact, there is Nico's well. Hopefully we can make something happen. I used my Tempest and Cripple. I managed to kick Alistair into Lee Sin. Nikos needs to be careful here. Nocturne casts his ultimate. He can't make anything happen. Everyone flashes away, leaving Lee Sin to be destroyed by us five. So, we found Alistair. Alistair is tower hugging. Which is always nice. In fact, Shogath is tower hugging as well. So now would be a pretty good time to try and take top turret or wait for Alistair to go out of his turret. There's the fear by Nocturne, and it actually works really well. Nocturne needs to be really cautious here. A nice, a very nice spell shield blocking the Alistair knockup. Along comes Zarath, and there is the dead cow. Unfortunately, Graves pushed bottom lane, which is annoying, to say the least. Uh, he even took a turret of that, which is even more annoying. And he recalled. Stop being annoying. However, Ezreal is being chased by Nikos and Dr. Zoidberg. Nikos needs to be careful here. He flashes away from Lee Sin. He Unfortunately, Ezreal picks up the skill shot. Ah, oh, that's a shame. So right now I'm farming away at the minions and hopefully going to get enough cold to... What am I getting? It's either Trinity Force or... I'm forgetting about the Bloodthirster I'm getting Trinity Force or just going for a Bloodthirster. Can't quite remember. I played this game yesterday. I should remember. But I don't. Oh well. Zarath is assisting me with these raids. How very kind of him. 
I believe splitting them half and half is rather nice. So hopefully we're going to try and make something happen here. Ezreal is pushing forward. In fact, Ezreal gets... Oh, Nocturne should have let Ezreal come forward a bit. But we stun Shogath under the tower and I chuck Norris kick him. Well, it would have been out of the tower if he had any health left. There's the Ezreal ultimate that I completely eat to the back of the face, but it's hardly an issue right about now. What is an issue is Graves and Alistair. Zarath with long range pokes. Garen will be spinning to win. In fact, he's not spinning to win, he's escaping. Zarath gets knocked back. Nikos is doing what he can. And we're being rather passive right about now, just poking whenever we can with buckshots and ugly pounces and blue balls of doom. In fact, there's my blue ball. And I apologize for the slight lag in the gameplay. I'm guessing I had a latency spike in this game right about now, but oh well. In fact, the minions are doing a rather nice job pushing the bottom lane. Uh, they're actually doing damage to it right about now. Zarath gets knocked back, and now the team fight breaks loose. We're all focusing on Alistair, which is not the best move in the world. However, I pick up the kill on him. I don't know why, but I did. 